Sitting here looking at this, as I told you guys, I have to repair some rust down in here. But all the other structure is good, but it's very hard to work through this small hole. So what I've decided to do is go ahead and make a cut here, down to here, cut here and down to here. Take this cap off here, get in there, get the, and then just weld that back right back on. I shouldn't interfere with the structure if I weld it good. Uh, so what I'm doing here is I've drilled, as you can see, a very small pilot hole. And I'm using a bit, a spot weld bit like this. And what you do is you stick it in the pilot hole like that. It's spring loaded, come down, and that, you can see here, I already have this one drilled out. It drills out the uh, spot weld. Now these things, if you're not careful, you can break them. They're expensive, so... So far, they're working good for me. You gotta take your time. Don't get too impatient, so. spot weld right here looks like maybe I'm gonna try to chisel that off very difficult to chisel it off Drill that one out. Have a spot there. That's why you gotta drill a pilot hole? If you don't drill a pilot hole, that type of spot welder drill will crawl away from you. Gotta have that pilot hole. Try to get it right in the center of the spot well. And it usually will work well. There you go. See how easy that came out? Now when I weld that back in, I'll line it up just like that. Weld this all the way around and be done with it. I do need to pound it flat a little bit. I'll do that now while it's in there. Like this. Get that thing back in place. Up here. Just like that. Look at that. This needs to go in like that. Look at that. That's how you do it. One of the other things I worked on this afternoon was I got this bonding strip off the windshield. I really wanted to see what the lower, there's a little bit of surface rust here, but it looks like this outer, the lower windshield frame, the outer portion is in good shape. I'm gonna tap around this, but it all looks pretty solid here, a little surface rust. Um, 
pretty happy with that. A lot of times water gets down in here like it did here in the seam, but this is just surface rust, as you can see. Uh, not that, so looks like I might be buying the inner portion of this. Uh, I may even buy this inner portion of the of the lower rail. So we'll see. I'm still investigating here what's the best way to repair any rust on this windshield frame. There's not much, but there's a little bit on each inside lower. So I, I may not replace the whole thing up in here, but I may use parts of it to replace what's rusted. So that's where we're at today. Hello, everybody out, out here today. Um, I'm gonna start working on this lower windshield inner panel. It's got some rust here. I also want to access uh, this area right here because I have these portions. I'm going to use a portion of uh, the replacement because I've got some pinholes here. As you can see here, here's the new panel, all new. So I'm going to use a portion of that, replace it, get some nice solid metal in there. So yeah, let's uh, we're gonna get in here and get at that. Let's do it. As you can see, it's a slow process. You gotta cut all those spot welds off. But I can tell you the outside bottom looks really, really solid. It's just this thinner piece here that I've got ordered I'm gonna replace. So it's coming off pretty nice. I worked most of the afternoon yesterday, got the inner lower window frame removed. Even though you see a lot of surface rust on the outer one, the thing is very solid, very solid. I'll sandblast that before I put the new one back in. Okay guys, where I'm at today is uh, I've removed the whole inner lower door frame. I've also removed the inner lower port, this portion um, of the door frame and also the up to here, because it's solid right here, here. And I do have these pieces as I indicated. I have the new pieces that I'm gonna patch in. So this goes basically right here. Yeah, it's going to be a whole new piece right there. Something like that once I get it in place. But as you can see here, I got a little bit of rust repair on this hinge pillar cap. It's solid out here. And it's really solid here where it connects, so I'm not going to disconnect that. As you can see my mark, I'm going to cut this out and make a whole new cap. I'm going to patch that in there and cover up all that rust. Not cover it up, but remove it and replace it with good metal. This is the cap to the hinge pillar and as you can see there was some rust so what I did was I removed this portion and what I did was I created a pattern with this so if you look here I created a pattern now because this is a slight radius I'm not going to be able to bend that so I'll make this out of two pieces I'll cut the flat portion and then I'll cut this flange and weld it on separately. So let's get let's get to cutting this out on the bandsaw. Okay, I have my hinge pillar cap uh, patch cut out. You can see here I cut the flange radius it appropriately and then I'm going to tack weld this and then dry fit it on the car. So let's get to welding. Okay I've welded both sides of this hinge pillar. Put a good bead on the back. Put a nice bead that's a more of a dress up bead so I can grain it smooth and make it look like it was formed. But yeah I'm pretty happy with that. It fits up nice. So let's get to grinding.
As you can see here, here's the finished product, all ground, all rounded. Once I tack it in, weld it in, blend the welds, you'll never see it was there and it'll be strong. I have this repair patch for the hinge pillar cap all in place. I'm just weighting it down with this body dolly. No good way to clamp it. You can see I have my holes for my spot welding. I'll also stitch these seams. So let's, let's get this thing welded in. Pretty excited. see here I got all the welds blended in uh, there's a few little crevices and stuff I could go back and fill those in with weld and grind again but I don't want to thin this metal out any more than I have to the spot welds were nice and solid so I think I'll just prime that and paint it 